So in this tutorial, this uh, guy by the name of Santi871 did a great job at creating a DCS waypoint editor. So I'll put a link in the description, but basically, um, you know, he's done an excellent job of using Google OCR, etc. Um, to input coordinates automatically into the F18 rather than you having to punch it in each time. So, yeah, and you can, it has the ability to save profiles and load profiles, so you don't ever have to enter in waypoints manually again. So I'll put a link in the description, but pretty much you need to just go to his, uh, his, his uh, GitHub and uh, download, the, download the files and uh, extract it and install something called Google Tesseract. So I'm on Windows 6, I'm on 64-bit, so I installed this one. Um, so download it, install it, and when you run the the uh, Waypoint Editor, the first time it runs, it's going to ask you for um, just some general setup. Uh, just ask you for the location of the DCS folder and where you saved the Google Tesseract. Alright, so if I go down to my downloads folder and I open up DCS Waypoint Editor um, and I run DCS Waypoint Editor.exe. So essentially you've got to switch to your F10 map and move to some targets that you'd like to designate. So here I've got some choppers on the ground and what is this, uh, big 31s. So you want to alt tab into your DCS waypoint editor. First thing is make sure that your uh, latitude and longitude is in degrees, minutes, seconds, and hundreds of seconds format. You can do that by pressing alt Y uh, on the F10 map. There we go. Degrees, minutes, seconds, hundreds of seconds. So you want to alt tab back to the DCS waypoint editor. Uh, since we drop in JDAMs, we don't, you're not trying to create waypoints, you're going to click the mission uh, waypoint type and you're going to hit quick capture. And let's say we want to capture the waypoint according to this, so you don't need to alt tab or anything, just take your mouse and put it over where you want it to be. Uh, you don't have to click, don't click, just hit the hotkey. So in, this, in the original setup of DCS edit, Waypoint Editor, it's going to ask you what hotkey you like. I bound mine to Control T. I think that's the default. So you move your mouse over where you want, and you hit Control T. Right? Then what we can do is we can save this profile. And let's just call this JDAM1. And let's create a new profile. So you're going to create a new profile. So you need to create a profile for each JDAM you're dropping, right? So since since after the new update, the pre-programmed waypoints are specific to a JDAM on the rack. Um, if, you have, if you're dropping four JDAMs, you need to have four different profiles. So this is the profile for the first JDAM bomb. I'm going to create a new profile for the second JDAM bomb. So I'm going to hit um, quick capture and let's see when I drop it over here and control T, uh, save profile, JDAM2. So let's just stick with these two profiles for now, JDAM1 and JDAM2. So I'm going to jump back into my aircraft. You need to make sure that on your bottom A and PCD you have the HSI. I'm just going to remove the map. And you need to make sure on the left EI you have the JDAM mission page. Like I said, after the new update, each each of these one, two, three, four, five program way pre-programmed uh, waypoints are specific to a JDAM. So right now we have station two selected. So when I open up here and I say enter into aircraft, it's going to only enter in. Um, into the first pre-programmed waypoint um, and it's going to be only for the JDAM on station 2. So I'm going to hit enter into aircraft and while it's entering the data into the aircraft I don't need to do anything. I'm not entering this myself, it's entering it, entering it in automatically. 
Um, I can play around, I can click other buttons, I can taxi, I can take off. Let's taxi while it enters that in. So it's entered in the waypoint coordinates for PD1 um, so, and for the JDM that's on station 2. So now I want to do the JDM that's on station 3. So I click the step button. I go back here, JDM2, enter into aircraft, and I'll let that enter in while I taxi. So, so now it's entered in the information to PP1 on the second station and the third station JDM rack. So, like I said, each of these pre each of these pre-programmed um, coordinates are specific to a JDAM. So, I can enter up to five destinations per JDAM. So, if I have eight JDAMs on my aircraft, five times eight JDAMs or five PP locations or pre-programmed locations times eight JDAMs is forty locations in total. So, you can enter in um, forty locations if you like. Right, so now we've got PP1 selected. Let's go to our SA page and we point designate. We have station three selected. Um, I'm gonna roll to station two. So there we go, so station two, and I'm gonna make sure my eFuse is instant. Back to the JDAM display page, mission, station two. So I'm going to drop this JDAM and then I'm going to click the step button to step to the JDAM on station three rack. Just a note before the update, before the update that was released um, today, being what is the date today? June 14th, I think. Um, before the update, you needed to if you you were you could only enter in up to five and these five were specific to it to AJ down. So you could pickle and select PP2, pickle, select PP3, pickle. In this after the update, that's no longer the case. You would pickle and step, pickle and step, pickle and step. Okay, so we're in range and pickle and let's step. And pickle. Bang on target.